No physically challenged person in the Greater Accra region has visited the Voters Register Exhibition Center to check their names since the exercise began six days ago. Electoral officers say the EC has made provision for physically challenged persons to be able to check their names in the register. Jonathan Adams has the rest of the story. At 2.45 p.m. on the sixth day of the exhibition exercise, the Gunhall Main Exhibition Center has verified a total of 238 voters, but no single disabled person had been verified. Verification officer at the center, Priscilla Finn, says the commission has made provision for the disabled persons. She explains how the disabled persons would be verified. Those who had problems with their fingers, in the register, they've already exempted them and then they've captured them face only. So with that one, when you scan their barcodes, you recognize them just by the face on the BVD and then it goes. But if it wasn't face only, but you come and then we are unable to verify your fingerprints, we have another register, we write your details inside and then later the commission will call you and then verify you with face only. So that come December, you can still vote. At the Aquafo Hall Exhibition Center, exhibition officers are positioned at locations accessible to disabled persons. The center had already recorded 271, but the electoral officials say not a single disabled person had showed up for verification. It's very accessible because there is a path over there whereby they can access it and get here easily. But so far, none of them has come to check if everything has appeared on the register. 176 voters had been verified at Jowlu Open Space Exhibition Center on the sixth day into the exercise. Again, the electoral officials complain the disabled persons are not expressing interest in the exercise. The situation is the same at the GNTC Exhibition Center, where the electoral officials have verified 95 voters. Although the location was not accessible to disabled persons, Verification Officer Abdullah Fatimatu explains how the disabled persons would be verified. We must follow the person over where he is now to go and verify the person. Since the, we know that the person can't walk, we must use the machine to go there since we are two. One will be sitting down and I will look for the name. So I will send the machine to the person so that the person will just use his finger to turn print on this machine. 52-year-old disabled cobbler Isa Alassan explains why he has not verified yet. But at times I leave house earlier. Before 6, 6 30, I leave house. Before I go back, it was night. So tomorrow that I know I, I mean I'm around. So tomorrow I'm going to verify. But the electoral officials complain about the slow process of the exhibition exercise. 